here in a Soyuz Canada semi-arid desert, you'll find countless at-risk and special species, including this extremely rare antelope brush. This plant survives through its root system, which is extremely long and absorbs moisture. If you guys feel the leaves of this plant, you can feel free to touch gently. You're going to feel a bit of a waxy coat on them, and that waxy coat really helps protect the leaves from getting any moisture sucked out of them from the sun. There's estimated to be less than 30% of the antelope brush remaining, um, kind of in a healthy state in the Okanagan. So I think for people in a Soyuz, it's important to understand that although this place is beautiful, it's not endless. There's also the iconic sage bush and cacti, including the brittle prickly pear. The Soyuz Desert is just four milliliters of rain over being classified a full desert. Species that live here have a wide range of adaptations, like the western rattlesnake, the spadefoot toad, and special to a Soyuz, the pale pallid bat. We certainly provide habitat for uh, recovering uh, populations of, of uh, bluebirds. The drought resistance is really cool for, for a lot of this stuff, so the way they've um, evolved their leaves, their coloration, and kind of their life cycles to deal with the incredibly hot and dry summers here is amazing, and just about every plant has to do it in some way or another, so there's a ton of varied strategies that you get to look at. Not only does it get really hot here in the summer, um, it also gets quite cold in the winter, and so a lot of the species that live here need to have quite interesting adaptations in order to survive both of those, both of those conditions. Here at the Desert Center, much of their work involves educating the public on this endangered ecosystem. And inspire them, inspire curiosity. To help it along, we do a lot of invasive species management here. So we will um, do a lot of weeding. We have a bioagent, a weevil, that uh, works on the um, Dalmatian toad flax here to help control the spread of Dalmatian toad flax. However, those at the Asoyuz Desert Center remind me that it's biodiversity that makes all of this possible. For Castanet News in the South Okanagan, I'm Sarah Krakal.